meekness, temperance, and get such there is no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, let your word minister to us. And let your word, Father God, dwell in us. Let your word become our final authority. We thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you honor. For we know that all starts with the word. And everything will end with the word. Everything will pass away. But your word will not pass away. The God of God, Father, we submit ourselves unto you. We submit every doctrine, every thinking, every theory unto you. And whatever Father God that does submit, we bind it and put it under your subjection in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, let your hope and expectancy of your people be manifested in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let not your people go out the same way they came in. Fill them up so long they'll be able to stand and win in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare this out to the floor of the winners in the mighty name of Jesus. The call of God and all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, it's always a joy to be in the presence of the Lord. It's always a privilege to do the work of God. It is always a privilege to talk to somebody about Jesus Christ. Because if Christ wasn't there, for us, we wouldn't be into existence. We wouldn't be who we are today. If we are who we are today, thank God for Jesus who died for you and died for me. And thank God for all of those of you from home who are watching this uh, broadcast. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Who so believed in him will not perish but have everlasting life. God protect each and every one of us when we are conscious and when we are unconscious. I appeal to you today that we must be always vigilant and ready to overcome darkness and limitation. Because if we don't, we will not enjoy everything God prepared before us in the presence of the enemy. God prepared all your blessings. Prepare the table and tell you, this is what you have to give. This is belong to you. This is advantage for you. This is, you are here for this. So the enemy is strong. But the enemy now has to work in a way that you do not get or enjoy what God has put on the table. So I want to talk to you, as I said, pursuing divine property. What is a property? A property is a thing that belongs to somebody or a thing that belongs to someone. A property is also a quality, an attribute. And we all know the attribute of God. God is God. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. Amen. God is God. God is peace. That's the property of God. You know when we were studying, we were doing physics and chem chemis chemistry uh, at school, every element, chemical or any uh, 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 product, we have to learn the properties of that product. We will say, this product is a solid. This product can dissolve. You remember that? The same thing God has is a properties. Love is God properties. Peace is God properties. Faith is God properties. And God is slow to anger, but rich. Pastor, what are the things, what are the properties? 
things of the kingdom of darkness is here if you look at verse 19. He tells you adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, adultery, witchcraft, lying, stealing. All these things are the properties of the kingdom of darkness. Who Lucifer is the master. So now, if you learn, you're not pursuing the divine properties or the things of God, you are pursuing the things of evil, then evil will pursue you. Hallelujah. Amen. I said hallelujah. You wonder why you have been having demonic attack. It's because you pursue the things of darkness. And darkness now feels that they have the right to come in your house and enter in your house, mess you, mess your wife, mess your children, mess everybody, and live in pain and grief. And then you wake up and say, Pastor, I have a demonic attack. Because what you are pursuing is not yours, and they're coming after you. Because at that time, they have authority over you. Remember, whenever we see, we lose God's mark and God's authority. And when you lose God's authority in you, you become like a city without walls. Anyone can go in and anyone can come in and destroy you. I beseech you, like the Apostle Paul said to the Galatians, Pursue the properties of God. Because when you pursue the properties of God, God will come with you. God will be with you. And the presence of God will be everlasting in you. And you know yourself that if God be with you, who can be against you? And you know yourself that if God is with you, you are more than a conqueror. And you know yourself, if God is with you, the presence of the Lord will follow you. You know when Obed Edom kept the things of God in his eyes. You remember the things Obed Edom kept in his eyes? The ark of God. The ark of covenant. People went quickly and said, David, the Lord has visited Obed. Zarephah, 
that God should pursue the properties of God. God bless them that the cool of oil will never end. Flower will never cease. And in fact, when a son died, she had divine visitation to decide the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Pursue divine properties. Oh, look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor one more time. Pursue divine properties. Pursue divine properties. Because when we, do, we pursue divine properties, only God can come to us. But when we don't pursue the things of God, we give leeway to the evil, and the evil will come and begin to mess us up. Remember, Revelation 12, 11 tells us, Woe unto the earth, because the devil has been precipitated, has been cast out of the earth. The way you are, if you are not with God, you are not saved, because the, the devil will seek the opportunity to devour you before you realize. As I was saying to you, there are things that fly by day, and there are things that fly by night. We can't see that little eye. But thank God for Jesus Christ. He's able to see, He's able to prevent it, and He's able to protect us. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us stand. For those of you watching this from home, this is my intervention, and I pray that the Lord will minister to you to pursue the things of God than the things of darkness. Because if we do so, we will be being justice to ourselves and to our future children, our future seed, because the devil will have a grip on it. But if we pursue God, it will be for the goodness of our kingdom, the kingdom of God. And we will all enjoy it for the rest of our life. Thank you and share the word of God. And we see you on Wednesday for our prayer time and daughter for our Bible study. But remember, it's not a God says it's all. Your destiny is in the hand of the Lord. God bless you.